Hello, I just wanted to share a new journal with you that I just finished making. It's a special request from somebody at work. She actually wanted two of them, so this is the first one, I and I wanted to share it with you because it's kind of unique, and I really like the way that it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. So she wanted a Wizard of Oz theme for her daughter-in-law. I didn't know whether to go scrappy or or lacy or what, so I just kind of went with whatever felt good at the time. I couldn't find the fabric panels anymore from Graphic 45, so I improvised and I scanned in the scrapbook paper from Graphic 45, and that's what I used for my fabric on my cover. It is a soft cover journal. Roughly nine by six uh, with, oh, I don't know, about a two inch spine or so. And every Wizard of Oz fabric piece you see in here is where I took the fabric, or I'm sorry, I took the paper and I printed it on sublimation paper and then I sublimated it onto polyester fabric. So that's how I got this look. Um, you know, cheesecloth. This is the first time I've attempted a beaded spine, and I love the way it turned out. A little crooked, but hopefully she won't notice. But uh, it's really cute. I like it. And I did the three-hole pamphlet stitch to do that. So this is how the fabric turned out. I don't know if you can tell or not, but then I also put Wink Stella on the bricks to kind of give them a shimmer, because I wanted them to look like bricks of gold. So I'm really happy with the cover. Um, use sorry silk for the binding, or I'm sorry, not for the binding, for the ties. And it is still shedding a lot. A couple of buttons here on the front. Oh yes, sorry. And then at the bottom you can see the ties to the signatures all have little charms on them. If she doesn't like those, she can just cut the signatures, strings closer, and then just use the charm somewhere else. Here's the book. Inside is fabric, outside fabric. It's flexible, but sturdy. It has a folder in the middle, and then it has batting on either side, or not, sorry, not batting on this one. On this one, I used felt. So I put felt on the back of this fabric, felt on the back of this fabric, and then in between that, I sandwiched a folder so that I could get the good spine lines. Uh, little fabric pocket here, um, some, Im some images from the paper collection. This is one of those chipboard pieces, and then I just backed it with some paper and fussy cut around it. Um, I put a few family photos in here just so she would know to photo journal. Um, I don't know if she's a journaler or not, if she's a scrapbooker or anything like that, I don't know that much about the young lady that's going to be receiving it. So I just gave her some ideas. I'll give her some photo corners and things like that. I'll give her some washi tape samples and a few stickers to go in here as well. That way she can decorate it the way that she wants it. So I've left it somewhat plain uh, because I didn't know if she would prefer photos in there or if she prefers to actually journal and write. So I didn't fill it up a lot. Um... This is one of the cutouts from the paper pad. I love this paper pad. It's so cute. Um, and these are just some stickers I had. I don't even remember what book from. I've had them around forever, so some of them fit pretty well with this. This one says, Love with all your heart, and it's the tin man who was looking for a heart. And this one says, If you're lucky enough to be different, never change. So I just thought that was kind of fitting for the Wizard of Oz theme. Um, not really Wizard of Oz, but I really like birds, so she got them. Little tag. So I have an old kids Wizard of Oz book, which I'm not crazy about the book itself. I, it's okay, but I loved them this image of the Mouse Queen, and so I tore that page out and just made a little pocket out of it. And then um, here's Toto's little card, and they have a dog, so I figured they could put a photograph of their own dog on there back in there so that goes in there um this is actually handmade paper with bits of 
grass in it. And so it reminded me of the straw from maybe the Scarecrow. So that's why it's in here. And it feels really good. Kind of smooth on one side and rough on the other. And it's really neat. Um, I've had this little page laying around forever. So I put it in here. I thought it was pretty cute. And then this is as big as the page was. And I had another page from the same collection. And so I just used fabric and stitched both pages to fabric so that I could stitch that in my spine and get it to hold. Um, some lace trims throughout. Another little pocket made from one of those book pages. Uh, and then I just... On this one, I just have a little tag in here, and this is from the paper collection. So I just took a, ta a brown tag and stitched around it and added a little bit of lace, and I have a little balloon charm here um, for the hot air balloon in the movie, and some purple sorry silk. This one's a little bit tougher to get in, so I'll put it back in in a minute. That's a put over their family, so um this one is also a photo of their family so we'll just hide it in there a uh, fabric pocket uh, another little tag made with images so that paper pad has little stamped images that are just adorable i love them so it's backed with a little bit of muslin a little bit of cheesecloth i had this little teeny tiny i think you can see it metal bird and i had just glued that one on there this is a brad to cover the brad i just used a little doily flower and it just goes down in here. Um, so then this opens. And this opens. That's the center of the signature. So she could do something large there if she wanted to. Um, just a little corner pocket here. And a little tag I made with some of the leftover fabric from the inside of the cover. And then backed it with cork. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know if she had favorite pens. Maybe she could put those in there. Or favorite pair of earrings. Or... Uh, she could put a photo on there. That'd be fine. Here's a little green journaling card. All right. This is a little lion charm and some pretty green fabric. Reminded me of what I think of when I think of the Emerald City. However, in the book, the Emerald City is not really emerald. It's gray. And they make everyone wear green glasses so that they can see the city in green. That's kind of different and also the ruby slippers are not ruby in the book they are in the original book they're silver slippers but in the movie they changed to ruby slippers so anyway a couple differences this is the other page I was telling you about so I just stitched it on here on this fabric and I just liked it I think it's cute paper all right um here's some vintage actual vintage so it says the Smith Agricultural Chemical Company. And I thought since Kansas, corn, growing state, um, that would be kind of fitting for in here. And then this is just a little vintage. Uh, let's see, is this one a tea card? Yeah, this one's a tea card with a pretty little butterfly. But it has the straw here. So that reminded me of the scarecrow. So it's in here. It's a sticker out of the collection it says my little dog too um i love the image in this paper pad of the scarecrow he is adorable he's he's my favorite character on the paper pad another little tuck spot made from one of the cards in the collection and this little chipboard piece is out of the collection i thought he was cute tin man's cute i just made a little tag there this is out of the children's book I have. Um, that image is okay. What I tore it out for was for the image on the other side. So I love this image. So I wanted it in the book. And I didn't necessarily need to cover this one up. Because Dorothy's oiling the Tin Man. So it was okay. But I love this image from that children's book. This is a little piece of parchment paper. Another one of those vintage tickets from that place. This is a little book page pocket, and then there's a couple different tags in here. This one. That scarecrow is just stinking cute. Here's a little envelope I made, um, and it's sewn into the center of the signature. 
I don't know if I'm going to do a different closure or just leave the paper clip, but on the back of it, I sewed an image from the children's book. So that's an image out of that book. The outside is fabric, but the inside is paper. So that's a little bit smoother and nothing catches on it. So it turned out pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with it. Now if I can figure out how to get that back on there. There we go. Uh, parchment, parchment. Here's another image from the children's book. I just thought it was fun. This is a little chipboard tag from the paper collection. And then my little tag. I believe it's Tim Holtz, but I don't know for sure. It says, Be Bravely You. And so I thought that went pretty well with the little lion because he's looking for courage. There's a little tuck pocket here and I realize I don't have anything in there so I'm going to have to find something for it. And uh, this is just, I don't remember where these words are from. It's some old pad I had and it says she was a strange little girl. So I just put that on there. I don't know. Dorothy's a little strange. Um, here's little charms. It says, Oz, this is a piece of fabric that I made from that paper collection. This is just a little journal card, bigger photo mat card that I made from that paper collection. They had, that's some really pretty paper. I really, really liked it. It's hard to find because they don't make it anymore. And just some of the fabric here for a little ruffle. There's another one of those tickets from that agricultural place. It's one of their photos, but I wanted her to see that she could put stuff on this little mini page. This here is that you're seeing is vintage ledger paper. I think you saw it in the front as well. That book is probably from the 60s, I believe, if I remember correctly. Some of my pages have writing and some don't. So, but it's really neat. Another piece of handmade paper, and this one has green in it because of the Emerald City. Um, this center is just a little part of the book that I cut out. Um, it just talks about Dorothy and Toto, and I just thought it was kind of neat, so I put it in the center. I put a lace here, not vintage, that's new lace. Here's, some, here's the back of that vintage ledger. And then I made this tag, and I'm really happy with the way this tag turned out. So it's a little hard to get in and out of here, but it was a piece of old yellow paper. And I did a brick stencil on it. And I used the Tim Holtz vintage photo, I think it was. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I probably can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Um, I think it's the vintage photo matte medium. And I used... A rubber spatula and put that medium on that yellow paper and it turned out great. I absolutely love the way it turned out. And then I grunged it just a little bit with um, walnut ink and it looks like a yellow brick road to me. Hopefully it does to her as well. Anyway, I'm really happy with the way that tag turned out and it's a really, really tall tag. I used variegated thread throughout the book with the colors of the book and the thread. So uh, just to give it a little bit more and some texture, because I like texture in my books. And I don't like straight edges if I can help it. Um, this is a little pocket back here, a little beaded pen here. And that's it. I hope she's happy with it. And I hope she enjoys journaling in it and keeping her family memories here. All right, everybody, happy crafting.